No, people in America don't scream my name on the street. It's just a matter of energy. If you don't want to be recognized, you, you can hide. The hardest thing about English language for me might be the accent. I was in Montgomery, Alabama for two months, and at that time my English was worse than now. After asking to repeat like 10 times, I would just say, oh yeah, but I didn't understand a word. I was so nervous to have to play this woman of 19 to 47 years Ah, sorry. The first English language movie might have been uh, Charlie Chaplin. Fantasia, or maybe E.T. And I remember uh, I was so into it, I cried so loud that the audience around me wanted to take me out of the theater. When I was very young, my mother was doing a play and uh, they asked me if um, I would like to, to be part of the play and the Cra crazy thing was that I had to hold a bird, but the bird were so nervous, so I, I, I felt his little uh, legs. I don't know if you say legs for a bird. I was playing the daughter of a woman who was not my mother actually, but my mother was on stage. And I remember that I was so confusing because everybody was telling me, um, that my mother was there, uh, but she was not my mother actually, because I knew that my mother was there. I, I died before. It's a weird thing to die on screen. I died when I was still young. Uh, droning, water, uh, droning. And uh, I exploded too. The droning was, horrible. People are stuck in those uh, canyons and um, and it's raining and the water is coming up and up and up and up and I have to die. <laughs> I remember La Vie en Rose when I read the script the first time. The power of what, what it say. I think that my brain stopped. I mean I was so nervous to play an old lady that um, that fact took all my fear. Wow. Non-musical instruments would be the forest. Fireworks, fireworks, that's how you say. And the sea. Five? It's three. Whales, cooking. I love to cook and to eat. Wow. I think that's it. I think that I always wanted to be an actress. For sure. I was so fascinating by those people who just make their life telling stories to other people.